Belfast this morning, the atmosphere subdued but laden with anticipation. Numerous groups awaiting transport, all seeking the ecstasy which will come with victory. It's been 46 years since they left Belfast, the towns and glens of Antrim in such numbers. That was for the county's last All-Ireland senior final appearance and a defeat by Cork. Some of the men who played then met up again today. The team of 1943 had a quite different build-up to their final than today's side. I remember Finley uh, at uh, that they got a new right, presented as a new, new set of jerseys in Barry's Hotel, and then the Kelly took place after that. You know, uh, well, it's a bit of a blur. The Kelly is anyway, but uh, I remember the entrance thing was the entrance into the Kelly was a, a round circle thing that opened up. You know, and it was like a hurling ball to me. Who used to think it was no? That was supposed to be the entrance. You know. But you had a Kelly the night but before the game. That was the night before the game. That was off to Croke Park went the men of 43 in search of new memories. Those left behind in the city also managed to howl their support, however. They watched as the drama unfolded 100 miles away. In the end, it was to be Tipperary's day, but the Antrim side, which gave its fans the glory of a final day out, will still be fated by those supporters on its return. No, not at all. Considering I got the fans and papers off them, they may get paid, but they got the fans that matters. Unlucky tips are great to say, but I'll be back next year. Maybe one of this time, who knows?